We're talking about best co-op games. You got to go back to uh, to a classic in Sonic 2. You got Sonic and Tails. So you had uh, the guy who was the designated guy that was going to go Super Sonic, and then the designated guy who was going to just die repeatedly. And that was always me, because my brothers were dickheads when I was growing up. They always made me be Tails, and just constantly like, boom, and these pop off the screen, and then I go in and cry, and then they call me a crybaby for crying, and now we're getting way too personal for a channel or an internet video. You know what was a really fun co-op game is uh, Lost Vikings for the Super Nintendo. That one was really fun. Uh, you had three different Vikings, and they each had different powers. Uh, you had like Eric the Swift, he could run and like head ram things, and for some reason he didn't suffer any brain damage at all. It seems like he would have just been in a coma the whole time, but he could head ram things, and then you had another guy with a sword, and then you had Olaf, who did seem like he had brain damage. He's just a big doofy dude with a shield, and he was like, yeah and you put Olaf in front of pretty much any enemy and he just sat there with his shield and the enemies would try to get through but his shield was just too too impenetrable I guess. It was a fun game and you play it with a friend so you control one character and he controls one character and then you could switch back and forth and then uh, you do funny things like sometimes you'd have to glide on Olaf's shield and then uh, if you put the shield down they fall off your shield and die. So you mess with people. It was a fun game. I really enjoyed it. Now yes I might be single but I do have friends so I do enjoy my cooperative playing of games. Uh, one of my top favorites will always be uh, you know, the Mass Effect multiplayer. Um, now, some people were complaining there was no PvP, <coughs> so inky, but the co-op play in the multiplayer was so much fun. Uh, yeah, bronze and silver were kind of easy, but when you get on like gold and platinum, you have to be working together as a team to make it work. Making sure you have the right classes, all your classes are built correctly, yelling out orders to the rest of your team just to stay alive and survive all ten waves. It was the greatest of Mass Effect with your friends. That's why it was great. So he's doing this right now in the uh, in the window behind the camera and it's a little distracting but not gonna phase me. Not gonna phase me. And another co-op game, another game uh, that that I used to play with my brothers. I don't know why I ever played with them. Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> Toe Jam and Earl the original, not the second one, the side scroll. That one wasn't very good. Uh, Toe Jam and Earl the original was amazing. Um, there were a ton of levels to go through. I remember the first level, you find that secret island, you go down, you drink the lemonade with the hot chicks and you get extra lives. Uh, what's not to love about that game? You throw tomatoes at hula hoop girls that put you to sleep for some reason. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to. It's just a really fun game to play with your brothers who are jerks and constantly do things like make you fall off of the level. Uh, and then you get really mad at them and you reset their game genie that they tried to use to beat the game because they couldn't beat it by themselves. And then once again, you get way too personal for an internet video. Portal 2 Co-op. Portal 2 Co-op was insanely fun. Uh, I wish there was more of it. Uh, it was just a great little mini cooperative campaign where you were the robots and running around and you could portal people, send them flying across the map and stuff. It was a lot of fun. Obviously, uh, GLaDOS would harass you and stuff. It was, uh, it was good times. I'd always wanted to play Portal 2 with a friend. The only thing that would make it better is if there was some kind of like grief mode or competitive mode where you're kind of racing and like if you want to throw off your opponent you could like portal them you know into an acid pit or something. That would be really cool or portal some turrets into their room or something. That would be really cool. Anyway, but I thought the co-op campaign was great. I hope in Portal 3 or Half-Life 3 or whatever we get some more co-op because uh, if you ever come out with it, Gabe something, but everyone knows Valve can't count to three so we may never see it. But uh, it was a great game. Now a game I can never talk enough about is Left 4 Dead. Either it'll be the first one or the second one. It's just so much fun because this game legitimately becomes terrifying when you're like, you're with your team and just as soon as like shit hits the fan and just like one person's getting taken by a smoker, your friend just got boomed all over by the boomer, and there's a tank on your hands at the same time, it's just all hell's broken loose. Like everyone's on mic like, oh my god, get to the safe house, get to the safe house, and someone, there's always one person that just like freaks out and breaks and it's like, no, I can make a run for it, and then just he's dead and on his own, all of you, left for dead. Name of the game, so much fun. Uh, okay by yourself, definitely made as one of the best co-op cooperative playing games. And then, and then uh, when you grow up, when you grow up and, and your brothers uh, you're, are playing, you and your brothers are playing games and you become more mature, you play games like Gears of War. And then you can actually cooperate and do things like chainsaw locusts in half and then shoot them with your, uh, with your lancer and do all sorts of things. Uh, you plant the grenade in them and just blow them up. The co-op in that game was always really fun. Um, you kind of, it was sort of built for that because you always pick like go left or right or up or down. Um, but then you didn't really know what was happening on the other side until you were playing co-op and you could kind of see what it was. Uh, Gears of War was an excellent game in general, but the co-op was especially fun. I don't know why, uh, it just was. Also, there's a, a lesser known game called Resident Evil Outbreak. Did anyone play this? It was the old school uh, Resident Evil style with the pre-rendered environments and stuff. 
and it was way more vicious than the new Resident Evil multiplayer, because you could just, it was like the, it was like Left 4 Dead, you could leave people for dead, and you could, uh, it was like online, so you just saw your screen, it wasn't split screen or anything, so you just saw your screen, and you could run to different rooms, and like, you'd try to hold off some zombies to, so your friend could, to get into whatever room you were, but like, if there were too many zombies, you'd be like, ah, f*** it, and you just run to the next room, and like, leave them, and then, like, later on, like, there's no indicator, like, in Left 4 Dead of where your teammates are or what their status is. So later on, you'd be, like, searching for items and stuff, and you'd awkwardly run into them. Be like, oh, you survived. I, uh, jeez, look at the time. <laughs> also, you could get turned into a zombie in that game. So, it, the other thing you could encounter, instead of your friend showing up and still being alive, would be like, he's a zombie and he's pissed off, and now he's coming to kill you. Which was always awesome. And, uh, I really liked that mechanic. Man, I really like that game. I'm sad it didn't catch on. I think it got bad ratings or something. I don't remember why it didn't become a big hit. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, I thought. And uh, just a great Resident Evil game. I, man, I kind of wish they would remake that. Oh well. well, well, we'll see. Maybe one day. Now, this one, it by no means is the best cooperative game, but it's seriously one of my favorite games. Uh, it was for the Wii. It was Super Mario Strikers. Uh, Mario actually has a lot of fun sports games. I think Strikers was definitely up there. Uh, it's, it's the soccer game where you can play with three of your friends on the same team. You can play as different characters and each has their own abilities. Uh, the one for the, uh, the GameCube was actually the better one. The one for the Wii was okay, uh, but both fantastic because you're, you're playing on the same team. Most soccer games are actually a lot of fun when you have your friends with you. Just this, it was over the top, all the great action and fun that comes from Mario. And it was just, it, it got intense. The competition gets really difficult near the end. And it's like, if you lose right at the end, you start it all over. And that's where the real frustration is, because your friend doesn't hit the goal, so you accidentally smack him in the face, and all of a sudden you aren't friends anymore, then it's your 10-year high school reunion, you still haven't talked, so you give him a soccer ball as a gift, and he's like, no, f*** you, and you're like, haha, not funny, I guess. That's why I'm single. 